Good morning to you this morning. Lovely that you have been able to join us for morning prayer on Tuesday the 16th of June 2020. Hope this finds you well and another glorious day. We've been so blessed with this weather. So today we've been asked to remember Richard, who is Bishop of Chichester in 1253. So let's find out a little bit about Richard of Chichester. Richard de Witch, or of Deutrich, as it is now known, was born there in 1197 and worked hard for his yeoman father to restore the family fortunes. Later, he studied at Oxford and Paris and then Bognola as an ecclesiastical lawyer. When he returned to England, in 1235, he was made Chancellor of Oxford and eventually Chancellor to the Archbishop of Canterbury, Edmund of Abingdon. When Richard eventually became Bishop of Chichester, he was seen as a model diocesan bishop, progressing around his diocese on foot, visiting and caring for his clergy and people generally being accessible to all who needed his ministry. He insisted that the sacraments be administered without payment and with proper dignity. Whilst on a recruitment campaign for the, for the Crusades, he fell ill at Dover and died there on the 3rd of April, 1253, and his mortal remains were translated to Ch Chichester on this day in the year 1276 and we've been asked to remember him today along with Joseph Butler who is a philosopher and Bishop of Durham. So as we gather together for our worship. O Lord open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 32. And the refrain is, Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Happy the one whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Happy the one to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, and, whom, and in whose spirit there is no guile. For I held my tongue, my bones wasted away, through my groaning all the day long. Your hand was heavy upon me day and night. My moisture was dried up like the drought in summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and my iniquity 
I did not hide. I said I would confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all the faithful make their prayers to you in time of trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not like horse and mule which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, or else they will not stay near you. Great tribulations remain for the wicked, but mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy, all who are true of heart. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. So we continue today our story from Joshua. This time it's Joshua chapter 21, verses 43 to 22, verse 8. Thus, the Lord gave to Israel all the land that he swore to their ancestors that he would give them. And having taken possession of it, they settled there. And the Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their ancestors. Not one of all their enemies had withstood them, for the Lord had given all their enemies into their hands. Not one of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed. All came to pass. Then Joshua summoned the Reubenites, the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manashesh, and said to them, You have observed all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, and have obeyed me in all that I have commanded you. You have not forsaken your kindred these many days, down to this day, but have been careful to keep the charge of the Lord your God. And now the Lord your God has given rest to your kindred, as he promised them. Therefore turn and go to your tents in the land where your possession lies, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave you on the other side of Jordan. Take good care to observe the commandment and instruction that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to keep his commandments and to hold him and to hold fast to him and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away and they went to their tents. Now, to one half of the tribe of Manashesh, Moses had given a possession in Bashan, but to the other half, Joshua had given a possession beside their fellow Israelites in the land west of the Jordan. And when Joshua sent them away to their tents and blessed them, he said to them, Go back to your tents with much wealth and with very much livestock, with silver, gold, bronze and iron, and with a great quantity of clothing. Divide the spoil of your enemies with your kindred. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now for our canticle this morning. Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of the God of Jacob, that God may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For the Lord shall go out from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, God shall judge between the nations. 
and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Our second reading this morning is taken from Luke chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. Someone in the crowd sent, said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, Friend, who set me to be a judge or arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. Then he told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly, and he thought to himself, what should I do, for I have no place to store my crops? Then he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I'll say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool! This very night, your life is being demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich towards God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Open my eyes, O Lord that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the paths of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. And now for the Benedictus. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Amen. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Let us pray. And again this morning I'm using prayers from Common Worship. Gracious God, we pray for peace 
justice and reconciliation throughout the world. We pray for the honouring of human rights and for the relief of the oppressed. We give thanks for all that is gracious in the lives of men, women and children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the renewal of the church in faith, love and service. We pray for Justin, our Archbishop. We pray for Rose, our Bishop. For Joe, our Archdeacon. Mark, our Area Dean. And for all those, lay and ordained, who minister across our city, across our di diocese, and across our nation and all those who minister across the world. We give thanks for the gift of your word, the grace of our sacraments, and the fellowship of your people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this local community and for all people in their daily life and work. And we pray particularly for all those who are returning to the shops and retail outlets, for those who may feel anxious, for those for whom their business may or may not be viable remaining ever mindful of those who have yet to open, particularly in the hospitality and our theatre, praying particularly for our Marlowe Theatre here in Canterbury. We pray for the young and the elderly, for families and for all who are alone. We continue to pray for our homeless community and for the work of catching lives and porch light that is ongoing at this time. We give thanks for human skill and creativity and all that reveals your loveliness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are in need, for the sick, sorrowful and bereaved. In a moment of quiet, we name on our hearts those known to us who are unwell at this time and who've asked for prayer. We pray for all who bring comfort, care and healing and we give thanks for human love and friendship and for all that enriches our daily lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for those who've lost loved ones at this time, for those whose funerals take place this week and for the family for whose funeral I'll be taking this afternoon. And for those whose anniversary, the death of a loved one falls at this time. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen and the collect, most merciful Redeemer, who gave your Bishop Richard a love of learning, a zeal for souls and a devotion to the poor. Grant that, encouraged by his example, we may know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit are alive and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal light and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and all those that you love and pray for, for this day and always. Amen. Now for a moment, bird song. Lovely that you could join us this morning um, and thank you all for the comments as well. Um, please do join me for Compline this evening at 7. Otherwise, it's morning prayer again at 9 o'clock. Um, God bless you all. Whatever you're doing today, please keep safe, keep connected and keep praying. God bless and goodbye for now. Bye.